We're ready with band number three in the second section, the final band in this section. Let's give a nice warm welcome to the Rock and Silver Band and our conductor, Keith Anderson.
and their conductor, Keith Anderson, introduce themselves there with music that needs introductions by no one. Let's face the music and dance. Most people of a certain age and older will remember that as the music as featured by dance items by Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Actually, in much more recent times, I suspect many, many more people remember it as the Morkham and Wise Christmas show hit that involved news leader Angela Rippon. Let's face the music and dance. Now we move the still more very happy sound, and this time featured as a corner solo. I was getting a little noisy from here on in. If I could appeal again to the people at the back. Thank you. It is possible, just not often. Right. Principal Carnatus with the rocking band. Would you welcome Andrew Gordon? Commonly associated with a version by Ray Charles, a native of Georgia, who recorded it in his 90s, 1960 album, The Genius Hits the Road. It became the official state song of the state of Georgia in 1979. Georgia, on my mind.
Australia's work in the long corner. Let's thank Rob Adam, Andrew Adam. Now, come to a March item. This competition each year gives me and I'm sure many others the opportunity of hearing once again many of the famous brass band marches written over many, many years. This one, like many others we've heard today, is from the pen of William Rimmer. William was born in Southport in 1861 and as a young man he made himself into one of the finest cornet players in the country under the eye of Alexander Owen at Vessels in the Barn. He eventually gave up playing to concentrate on training and conducting band, and at the height of his fame conducted every winning band at both the Crystal Palace and Bellevue competitions between 1905 and 1909. Here is his very famous The Cossack. associated with the lyrics of Danny Boy, it has in fact a rich history of lyrical settings of which Danny Boy is a relatively late comer. Featured in the movie Brass Dog, here is Dennis Wright's arrangement of an Irish tune from County Derry.
Well, we come now to the final item by the Rockin' Band and conductor Keith Anderson. They give their leave of us by featuring music by Philip Harper. <coughs> the theme tune to a musical style variety show in which we get a look behind the scenes of such a production. The lead character stars as the showrunner, attempting to keep control of the other characters and antics, including his temper, as well as keep the guest stars happy. With music by Jim Hansen and Sam Poodle, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Muppet Show. Thank you.